Hello friends, uh, I'm Parviz and this is our sixth video in developing Qt Quick applications uh, with QML and Qt5. In previous video we have uh, covered uh, properties in QML. Uh, today we are going to uh, uh, cover the basics of scripting in uh, QML. Uh, if you have watched uh, my first video, uh, it was introduction to the Qt Quick. Uh, I have mentioned that uh, Qt Quick is a container of different technologies. We have uh, JavaScript in Qt Quick. We have uh, QML, that's a uh, markup language like markup language like HTML. Uh, also, we have C++. Uh, these three three things are in uh, Qt Quick. We have JavaScript. We have QML. Uh, that's Qt Quick meta language, and also we have C++. Uh, but today. Uh, we are going to cover the basics of scripting, not advanced. We are not going to advance uh, topics, but the basics. Uh, for this, uh, you make a new file or project, Qt Quick Applications. I name it uh, scripting. Scripting like this. Uh, I remove these. I give a width, a width of, uh, let me give it 500 and a height of 300, 400. And I give a color, um, color of blue. If I run this, You will see that <coughs> I have a simple uh, window. Okay. Uh, now I make a, a text element. Text element. Element. I give it an ID of uh, label. Uh, also, I give a uh, x position x uh, to fifty and y to fifty. Okay, now I want to make a custom counter property for pressing space. Okay, uh, I give a property, a property int space press space space presses, and I give the value to zero. And here I want to show you when I press the enter uh, the space uh, key in the keyboard, I want to show you anything. Okay, now I give the text um, space pressed plus space presses presses plus uh, times. I want when a, a user uh, uh, press the space button. I want to show that it should be shown that how my, uh, we press the space. Okay. Uh, uh, now uh, we are going to uh, make some handlers for text change. Uh, on text changed. Uh, on text change, I want to give a console. Uh, dot log like this and I want to write uh, text changed to plus text mm, ok uh, now we need some focus to receive key events uh, for this, uh, uh, I give uh, the focus to two, like this, and uh, now uh, I handle my keys. Uh, keys dot on space pressed, and now when I want to press the space. Uh, I want to run this uh, 
JavaScript function. Uh, I haven't made this JavaScript function yet, but uh, I'm I will make this. Okay. Uh, now the second one when we release the the space pressed dot uh, on escape when a press when we press the escape uh, we are going to label dot text make it empty like this okay uh, now we are going to uh, define our uh, increment function we have uh, made in here increment Okay, like this, I call it function increment, and I here I want to space press should be space presses plus one like this, and another thing that I want I want to give a font dot font. dot pixel size to 30 okay uh, now if I run this uh, space press 0 time if I press this you can see space press 1 time 2 3 4 5 6 7 and if I press escape nothing happened uh, now I run this 1 2 3 4 Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. When we press uh, space and when we press escape, it should be empty, like this. Okay. Uh, thank you, guys. This was our sixth video. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, please subscribe my channel.